Well, first and foremost, Assemblyman Engelbright, happy 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Thank you. Thank you happy for joining us. We really appreciate it. You know, it's been 50 years since the first Earth Day. And really, uh, you've had quite uh, the run of success as the environmental chair of the New York State Assembly Committee on Environment. So now more than ever, I think people are utilizing New York State state parks and our great outdoors as a means of connect with nature, to re, uh, be healthy, remain calm, and as a respite. So we're hoping you can tell us briefly, um, what does Earth Day 50 years celebration really mean to you? Well, of course it is a celebration of mother, ultimately, Mother Earth. And uh, uh, we've we've made some progress in terms of uh, uh, putting in place ways to help uh, take care of mom. Uh, uh, we have a lot more to do. And uh, in retrospect, over these 50 years, I wish we had done more uh, because uh, with the advantage of hindsight, we now see that we have uh, really uh, enormous tasks ahead of us. Uh, the, uh, the present uh, COVID-19 crisis uh, to scale is actually a, a relatively moderate crisis uh, relative to the scope of what we have to do to save the ecosystems uh, of uh, planet ocean. Um, and uh, sometimes we call it planet Earth, but it's 71% ocean. And uh, it is the ocean that is overheated, that is uh, spinning off the storms. Uh, it is the ocean that is, because it's overheating um, and receiving meltwater, is rising and flooding our coastlines where more than half of our population lies uh, uh, within 50 miles of our coasts. Uh, so the the magnitude of the problems is sharper on this 50th anniversary. Uh, and uh, yet I think we are better prepared because we are better educated. I agree, thank you. Well, Assemblyman, I think we all know, but we'd like to recognize the fact that you really have been an environmental uh, champion here in the state of New York. We'd like you to just reflect for a moment on what would you say is one of your most proudest accomplishments and also, what do you hope achieve, to achieve, um, you know, in your years ahead? Clearly, uh, the biggest uh, or most uh, important bill that I've ever worked on is the, uh, the climate bill, uh, Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act uh, was, uh, no pun intended, a high water mark of, of my my efforts over these years. Um, and looking ahead, uh, following through on the promise and premise, the expectations and the needs of that piece of legislation will, to a very large extent, define the future of everything I care about. Uh, my family, my community, my state, my nation, and uh, the global ecosystem. Uh, New York is not just a state, it is a state that could be a country in terms of its size, its population, its economics, um, its influence. So I think it was very significant that uh, we were successful. I say we because although I was the prime sponsor in the assembly, uh, it could not have been done without the courage and uh, vision of uh, Senator Kaminsky and uh, Governor Cuomo uh, and all of the advocates, including yourself and uh, all of the advocates who got behind uh, this initiative and validated it and made it uh, politically possible. Great. And what about in the years ahead? What's, it, what's on the burner for you? Well, Back to basics, uh, we, we really do need uh, to take care of uh, our water infrastructure. We've begun uh, the journey toward 
uh, accomplishing uh, uh, many things uh, with respect to our drinking water and uh, taking care of our wastewater. Uh, some of that is uh, protection of source areas. Uh, we need to have some money to, uh, to finish uh, and, and round out the protection of our uh, water catchment areas in our critical watersheds, the high peaks areas of uh, the highest elevations of our state in the Adirondacks from which flow many of our major rivers, almost all of our major rivers, except for the coastal plain rivers on Long Island. Uh, they all, uh, one way or the other, connected to the Adirondacks and those, the high ground of the state. We need to make further investments there and I'd like to I continue to build on uh, the work done by earlier generations uh, in protecting the significant parts of our state that, that underwrite uh, the health and well-being of all the people. So that's an important one. We need to prepare for uh, the rise of sea level and yep. uh, uh, coastal resiliency is a, a very important thing that we haven't paid that much attention to. Um, we're focused more on it since uh, Superstorm Sandy, uh, which gave us a preview of what uh, uh, not just the storm surge, but what a permanent uh, daily uh, tidal cycle would look like uh, uh, with uh, some increase in, in sea level. Um, and we need to uh, take from that lesson and apply uh, good policy and make wise investments to protect our our uh, coastal populations. Uh, and uh, so that's a big priority. Uh, we have some uh, globally significant ecosystems in the state. I've mentioned the Adirondacks, the Hudson River itself, um, and the Peconic system on Eastern Long Island, uh, uh, the Long Island Sound, the Great South Bay, all of our, our coastal uh, water bodies uh, deserve uh, some uh, systematic thought and application of that thought into meaningful policy. Uh, and I'd like to be a part of that uh, uh, before all of my hair falls out. And uh, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not able at some point, uh, I'll have to pass the baton. But uh, uh, right now, uh, we're in the middle of this race. And uh, I think these and, and uh, other priorities uh, that relate to uh, water chemistry protection, uh, source water protection, protecting the public health and, and the building on the nexus between public health and the environment is uh, a continued priority. Okay. Well, on behalf of the environmental community, I'd like to say thank you for your past work. Thank you for participating in today's event. Um, and thank you as always for your efforts, both past and what you will, we know, be working hard on in the future. It's a pleasure and thank you again. It's an honor, thank you. Thank you for all of your good work.